Greetings, this is Freena Rinamecha. I welcome you to my recap of, of Critical Role's Force I Dive, episode 27. This episode will have Travis Gilliam, Laura Bailey, Sam Regal, her and, uh, and Mercer Ray as Tavern Keeper. Fair. Oh, let's see. Oh, wait, uh, nice to be back. I just got off a, a somewhat relaxing, a relaxing vacation with some minor back aches. Uh, uh, from in Tennessee. Uh, if you live live in near in the area uh, of um Helensburg and stuff, I very much recommend you go seeing. Uh, uh, Astra Lu Lumina at, at um, Anakista. Now to the actual show. We have so much to discuss, dissect, and disseminate tonight. Guys, Xandria's going through it, and the uncertainty is palpable. So I thought it'd be fun to use my favorite divination tool here to see what is in store for us. I'll start. OK, what's in store for Laudna? I'm going to pick red. It's a very Laudna color, R-E-D. Um, I'll pick three, one, two, three, um, and I'll pick one. Why not? Um, your character will want to fuck Scanlan, but won't get the opportunity. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I feel like Sam wrote all these. Great. Uh, uh, Laura, why don't you go next? Oh, yeah. purple. Purple. Yeah. P U R P L E. One, two, six or five. Six. One, two, three, six, four, six. five, six. One, two, six or five. Two. Okay. Your character will think about fucking Scanlan, <laughs> but decide against it. Probably smart. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is, that is fair. Uh, Travis? Yeah, yeah, blue. B L U E. Uh, one, two, one. One, eight, three, seven, or four. Seven! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so much pressure. Your character. We'll probably fuck Scam. Hey, that's right. That's great. That's great. Um, Sam, your turn. Last but not least. There's just one left. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that one. Green. G R E E N. One, six, two, or five. Isn't there only one left? Nope. How, how do these no, work? No, you don't. Do you you, you weren't a school? teen girl in the nineties. Don't <laughs> worry about it. It's magic. One. It's magic. One. One. Uh, three, four, seven, or eight. Eight. Nobody's chosen eight yet. Your character will definitely fuck Scam. Yay! That's yeah, that great. he would have uh, his characters up. Yeah, the, the, the future looks gross. Welcome to Foresighted Dive. Let's do a walk in. And we start with the what the frick is up with that? With our open Music discussion segment. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? What the hey. fuck is up? With downfall? Oh. Wait, what? Was that a holdover? <laughs> no, no, keep scared. rolling. This is but fun. also, downfall is my first topic. Downfall? The Oculus Thalamus. The yeah, because y'all haven't gotten to talk about Dinefall yet, except Laura. What did you just say? You know what? <laughs> I said <laughs> words that you downfall. Lymphia came out of me real hard, y'all. Yes. <laughs> I've been hanging out with my mama. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about it. Are we restarting? No. We're still this going. is the best part of the show. Yeah, we <laughs> ever restart. As if we were capable this is of the such best a thing. part of the show. No, the All first right, topic really is downfall. We're so. going with it. Wait, are we? We're shooting this live. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a live show. You can't start. Yeah, this is what the people well, love our utmost 
professionalism. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have it. Oh, I thought you were going to try and kick my menu. Oh, no. no. You're just ruining the shot. Ruining the shot. Yeah. Ruining the shot. <laughs> oh. oh this is uh, first question is about... Uh, well, there's a lot of talk of, of gods and what they mean to people right now in the show. And they asked, like, general question, like, do the, the uh, like, in real life and their characters, do they probably, like, Sam, um, honestly, we don't really get that much about whether or not they, they are, really, how religious they are in real life. Um, Sam does talk about how Boreas does praise and... There and uh, he's come kind of, at this point because of the circumstances of his conversion to um, as God is. He wonders as the Lord. Uh, he kind of trying to pray for a sign that stone that the Lord of Hells actually does know the one doing this and, and knows he exists. But. <laughs> Well, okay. Yeah. How the god, how, the god of of, of the devils. Yeah. <laughs> Ruler of hell. How health. in are you though on this platinum dragon situation? How in? What does that mean? You're wearing the armor now. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Yeah. Like all in. Yeah. Armor. You mean like how? How much am I buying are into you, it? Are you swayed? Look at I'm doing the yeah. I'm doing the brace fingers. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's I know. also a long <laughs> um, Like on a scale yeah. of one to six, how how do you yeah. see? I would just like to reiterate something uh, I've talked about past. Um, first off, I do not own nor am I, I associated with Critical Role, as you'll see in the disclaimer in, in, in the script in the video description. And also that when I go, when I show clips, it's for comedy. It's like to convey comedy, not uh, I will sometimes do something for a significant thing, but I mainly go for comedy. So if you're not seeing any cl clips of significance, it's just how I'm avoiding copyrights. Or you yeah, like all armor. Mm -hmm. You mean like? Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, he feels like this is a, a way of testing him, or like Bruce feels like this could be a test for him for. Will he be swayed to good? Because uh, Sam uh, specifically created Bruce to create because he wanted to play a technically evil character, like. Yeah, and now when they were getting some, already starts having some stuff that could revert him back to what he was as guard of the Platinum House, I think it's called. And then once again, we asked the, and then he was once asked, asked the question, will Brace turn on a party? Um, he he reiterates that uh, uh, that with all they've been through in the day and a half they know each other. Like he points out, if it come if he he points out that he's got aligned goals, but he they literally just met him, so he's not got he's not like uh, he, they're not they're nowhere near the point where they could convert him from uh, um. Uh, from Asmodeus or some of that, or there. Um, however, this is a character he's planning to play in, like for the rest of the campaign. In, so as they get to know him more, more, he'll they'll be they'll have more influence over him. <laughs> so if that happened today. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> but, you know, I assume more stuff. days will go by in the campaign <laughs> before I'm asked you to kill one. You assume more days will happen in the campaign? <laughs> well, so I far, it's so. been one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
I've been, been on like, like four together. episodes as Brea's five. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But y'all have been, a been day. together <laughs> as Bell's Hells for like two months. That's it? That's that's like it. It's like two or three months. It's all, all so fast to me. This is a <laughs> This is not even a percent, a full percentage of Chetney's life. Life he's known them. Full wind of a campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, then they talk more about uh, and like the uh, their role in the afterlife. And, like so, like more like, and especially with the revelations like uh, Matt has told me recently, like of that uh, before the gods came, it was this a cycle of reincarnation, basically. It's it was only uh, it was only once the gods came that they get that, that were, were uh, eternal resting can be achieved. Um, Yeah, though this it kind of led to a question though of like, like whether like how they it's decide which what's all goes where like um. goes um, what uh, let's say where like um, what decides like they brought know how that uh, if you like worship a certain god you'll most likely go, unless you. Have something that's highly against their thing, thing and don't repent of it at, or, or stuff. You you will go there, but if you don't worship any particular gods, but you do your life has this line with one of their um, tenants of their of the room there, you will also still be drawn there. But they're going like how like pick up how do they decide where to when they go to there and stuff, and it gets a good question. Are Okay, um. Hey, uh, anyway. Hey, and, uh, basically, are the are souls just currency for the higher powers? Like, you know, like. They described it as like is a tip jar. Like at the end, they get spread easily and stuff. And it also brings up a new question: like, now that souls can get like to a stopping point after life, life in the, these afterlifes, and it's and that's not reincarnated constantly. We at like after the life of Earth, uh, where are what what where what are so where are, do souls coming from? And they just uh, uh, are they um uh, like what are, are they gods actually create them or that so um well, of course these questions can't really don't have answers yet so. Uh, uh, as we know, um, uh, oh, from this, from from the from critical role, or you look more of critical role. Um, then we go on to the next topic, A or um, they thought it was kind of a cool place and stuff. Like it's as a my mom there, and when they gave the look, I was like, no, uh, before like calling out or stuff like before we go, yeah, because I was seeing like a very overbearing place. Not that day, but yeah. um, but in general, it seemed cool. What did you guys think about the gods there? You mean you? Like, what did you think about me? 
Aside from that wretched raven bitch. Um, <laughs> you raven bitch. <laughs> raven bitch. Oh, shit. Sorry. I liked how conflicted they were. Um, I liked how, I, I thought it was interesting how strong the city was and what they were capable of doing and that Bolo was a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Rep Bolo. Rep, Rep Bolo for life. The greatest, greatest NPC to ever be. Um, <laughs> God. Uh, one thing they bring up is like how uh, how what the gods are went through in Aeor is now similar to what what all of Xander is going through. Like, it's not just great danger that's being brought, but also a uh, question is where uh, where of like the choices. Like, what what do they stand for right now? Because They talk about more, uh, uh, Travis mentions how freaking it, like, clever uh, as boys was in the, throughout that uh, adventure. It's only because they didn't know something was wrong until after the fight when Franklin finally noticed that the special threat she left with, um, uh, what was her name of that? The ma that mage of the Society of Primes um, was 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 cut, and therefore she was dead. For him. Otherwise, he would have gone away with this. That just it also shows that Brennan. <laughs> The Brennan Lee Mulligan is a bad person. <laughs> Legit. Like, he's an evil. <laughs> Every time I see Brennan do <laughs> something bad, I th I thank my stars that he's he is a good, a guy. good guy because he could be <clears throat> the most you powerful think? manipulator. You think? I know. He's wearing a skin mask <gasps> right now. Because we went through That's this. That's why that beard is a different color than the top of his head. It's all a ruse. <laughs> is it the same color? Irony. I can't remember. No. I think it's yeah. like beard and shades. It's really bright. He did, yeah. Really he had a beard? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, he had a beard. I only picture him as You didn't clean watch shaven. it. You didn't watch Downfall. It was on our channel, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, it was A and E. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mostly a &E. watch monk reruns on Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have taken you for more of a psych guy, but you know. <laughs> Wait, did you say your kid is watching through Monk? I watched an episode last night. <laughs> episode, uh, season four, episode one Whoa. is brilliant Whoa. because. Um, this is now the Monk. Stanley talk Tucci show. plays an actor who's playing Monk in a movie and learns to be like Monk, his mannerisms from Monk, but he, he gets he gets too into the character, and then <laughs> there's there's like two monks. Uh, <laughs> so great. Uh, <laughs> it's the only you can do anything. anything. When did that show come out? Like early 2000s? Oh, le late, early, mid? Why? Mid early 2000s? Yeah. I don't for forever. This is this is what we do, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is basically the game. Welcome to our Monk podcast. <laughs> My I son agree. loves mine. I was yeah. going to eat that gum again. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Aor? God. And uh, uh, one per one thing was brought up is how, let's say, can, can I draw par parallels between Ludinus and Asmodeus for how manipulative it is. And one of the even pros, like, wonder if, what if it. it if Ludus was as bodice all along. <laughs> and uh, all the, uh, we, uh, as far as we know, all, all, all the betrayers were, they were specific, they made sure to specifically banish all betrayers like, from the parameter before they left. And he's like the chairman of the betrayer, so they would want to make special. All, but also, um, he's like lies and such, but he's not doing it just for the heck of it. He has uh, agendas, and uh, well, you could say like like how he 
up of how um how he, he originally like he, some of his deceptions were um of uh this is my thoughts like uh, uh like why this is not true um so you could sort of see like a reason why they would want to to what well, use the uh the uh, no, uh, factor malleus on the predator so that they could have c control and you know get revenge on the prime deities. You, well, you could say he could try doing that the same thing with with Pradathos. Thing is, Pradathos want as Lunasa uh, just wants to eat and stuff. I mean, it, it, and it, it wants to. The devour and it's what it devours is God. So he is in this thing. He is a God. So he he is on the menu. So I don't think you'd have a way of just of getting him himself spared. So so I'm pretty sure he is in fact in fact uh, uh not, there are two different characters. One thing that was reiterated, like, um, what was that? Uh, they talked about what they saw, what what Bell's house saw in the Occult Solomus, and what, to the extent what Luna saw, was only what happened on Aeor. We went through this a little bit when they talked, mentioned how the prologue was was not was not recorded. They did not see that. But then it also means that anything that happened on Hawk's Hill, and also once they left and their conversation afterward, which was some of the most human, like sympathizing moments of the Dune Gods, that was not shown. So, that it, it the, the, those ones that would give you the most sympathies were not would not have been even recorded. They talk more. Then they go on the next uh, topic: uh, saving Lana and using the soul anchor. Um, they talk about how this could be a, a, a like a plot point, a thing for um, her um, for for future campaigns and stuff. Um, they they once like freed something from a, a, an anchor, a soul anchor before, like in Camping Born or something like that. Or something like Delta. This could be like uh, something for next week, like a future campaign. If all as long as they don't go meta on it, like say this, like like a, like a future adventure party could um come across this after like Lana has uh is done with her second life and stuff. Like this will probably most happen happen after um her her image like uh. She probably won't, she could probably live for an extremely long time, but not indefinitely. And let's say that she wouldn't want her her second life to extend that past Imogen. Like once Imogen passes away, she'll be like just uh, let herself. Uh, she'll just find a way to just let herself pass. Means, uh, but Law Noble, uh, but uh, I mean uh, Delilah will still be behind in the solar. So. Uh, a future uh, group of adventurers could go find it and decide to just release her. They talk more about comparing this to something that happened on something called Black Mirror and stuff. And, uh, that's that. And, and they talk more about what, explain more about what happened on that show to a point where some jokes, this is a, Welcome to the Black Beard Podcast. And I was like, and I was like, okay, this episode is officially called a game a, a podcast. And then we go to Vasselheim. Uh, we're talking about being back in Vasselheim. They talk about how interesting old characters and stuff. Uh, the, the, they also pointed out, uh, reiterate to to us the audience, 
Right now, the not only are they having to play ki the Kirby three characters, but also recording stuff for the animated Legends of Machina and the and the, and the future upcoming animated uh, Mighty Nine one. I think it's maybe called like Tales of Tales of the Mighty Nine, which gets close to me because that. Eh, by the way, if they once they, I am so trying to go start a petition. If I ever meet them again at a at a, a convention, stuff, I am so asking them to, like, when they get to an animated uh uh Bell's House, to call it Saga of Bell's House, as I've always referred to it as. But anyway, Basically, so they keep having to switch between the mindsets of these all characters from all three campaigns. And it's especially going to be interesting now that they may... I think they've kind of confirmed that they will... That that the three missions, which are being done by each member, each uh, uh, campaign's party, they'll be actually playing as their own characters for it. I think... Um, Oh? Yeah. Oh, were you supposed to be attractive? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I, f I feel bad for poor Matt because in addition to playing all these different characters, he also had to play some of them a little vague. So, like, for instance, High Bear of Ward, campaign one, old, old dude. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. We made him a female uh -huh. in the animated series. Uh -huh. So yeah. if, you, if you notice... He only calls High Bear of Ward they now. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, or High Bear sure, of Ward. He's yeah. not sure which one we're which, going which with. Which timeline we're on here. <laughs> <laughs> really right. love that for me. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Really it, helpful. We're keeping the food spicy, Danny. Yeah. I like to think that Ward is like a name that's been passed down. Oh, that's great. And like there's a High that Bear of Ward that's now like retired and now it's now it's Sumali Montano's High Bear, High Bear yes. of Ward. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Honestly, that. that's Different yeah. Superman. It's like the Dread Pirate Robert, Robert yeah. Yeah. or Superman for priests yeah. or yeah for priests for holy yeah. badass the priests. Dread Pirate yeah. Robert for dragon sense. protector. To be fair, yeah, thirty years ago, High Bear of Ward, old as fuck, pretty old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe that maybe he died. And I think it was and was replaced. Yeah. yeah, I think it was you that said it before the game that you thought like a attack was coming while I we were in that. that room, like a. Lone survivor situation. So that whole time we were doing the thing, I was, yeah. I was getting ready to oh, rock. Really? Yeah. Well, it, it figures it like prepared. it felt like it's it a state of the fit. union. Everybody's there. Just hit it once. And we haven't run. left yet. We haven't Keith left. Keith or Keith or Sutherland. Is Scanlon yes. the like agricultural department secretary? Secretary <gasps> that's like in the White House oh, while the, everybody the else is designated survivor. Designated survivor. Yeah. 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 Not lone survivor. Oh wow. That is. Not that. true. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where Scanlan is right now? I don't, and I haven't spoken to Matt about it at all. Yeah. So I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But Matt's all. Oh, Matt's also alluded that. We're gonna. Luda. We've got Luda. <gasps> that we're gonna be vice Mike. We're gonna come. Yeah, they talk about. Yeah, they've alluded. Basically, they've kind of. They therefore confirm like they're coming back to actually play those little characters for. So it's gonna be like, he yeah, like they all. They'll be playing. They'll be to play playing through each mission, as, which happens are gonna be happening simultaneously. They do talk about where they talk about now. Uh, they talk about where e all, all the other parties are right now. Well, uh, we've met most of, uh, uh, except for um, Scanlan, we've met and know what the rest of Vox Machina has been doing. Um, we've met, we've met Caleb and Bo, and know something with this, and oh, uh, and also. Have had communications with Jester, but uh, but we don't know explicitly what they've been doing ever since the start. Of, like 
we know what uh, Melee has at the start of this when they had their showdown with Trent. But uh, after that, we have no idea. They they may be one of the groups that are going around trying to fix. Fix the uh, deal with. Uh, you know, if they're not on the front lines, then they're probably go around um, fixing. Uh, 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 doing what. Remember, like when they had the uh, option between either working for. The, the 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 empire and basically working as the law enforcement or something while all the soldiers stuff go fight and they have, and but they then had that information and chose the crime option of course they may be, that's this is what they may be doing now like dealing with the ancient evils released while everyone else is fighting. Mm-hmm. Not but engaged. Oh, yeah. and I could That's the Trent's kind of inside of a big ass weird thing. And... Yeah. Keep on like some of the stuff I talk about. I mean, I was going discuss some stuff is stuff I think. So if you want to know exactly what you need to go yeah. find, watch your victorious. Video. Not wedded yet. Not but engaged. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <sighs> but now Ford's getting cold feet. Shut up. <gasps> <gasps> that would be awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> he stood her up the whole at the time when he comes back. He's like, I don't know if I should have done that. It was impulsive. <laughs> what do I do, Caleb? I think maybe we're, I think maybe we're rushing things. <laughs> It's only been 20 years. Yeah. How long have they been? No. How long has it been, Danny? Seven years. Seven years! Just like the ring. Seven years. Just like the ring. Right. Don't like say the it ring like that. That's seven days. I wish it was seven years. If you could watch the VHS, you're like, I got seven got years seven to get years. my affairs in order. That's not so bad. That's also like a guaranteed immortality for right. seven years. Yeah, and then you just got to show one other motherfucker on VHS. That's fine. <laughs> Hard though, because hard to find VHS players. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, you're screwed if you're dying now. Oh my god. That's, it's, the, new that's the ultimate horror. I would just pull up on the street with one VHS and a TV, like, <laughs> on the chest. That's not so bad. That's also like a guaranteed immortality for <laughs> right. seven years. Yeah, and then you just gotta show one other motherfucker on VHS. That's fine. <laughs> hard though, because hard to find VHS players. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, you're screwed if you're dying now. Oh my god. That's, the, that's new. the ultimate horror. I would just pull up on the street with one VHS. VHS and a TV, like, <laughs> on the street, open the door and make people watch it and then drive off. The Ring is actually about planned obsolescence. Yes. <laughs> that's that's late-stage capitalism. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be exciting. I Scanlan, we don't know about. The Mighty Nine, we, we know most everyone. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know if we'll get Caduceus or Kingsley. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a good Dang. I'm stoked. I kind of for Caduceus because we had I Kingsley. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You had I both. Mean, Kingsley's off doing Caduceus. like plank king stuff. Plank king stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's right. He's plank king. Yeah, Kingsley's off doing like pirate stuff. He that's might be a little true. hard to get a hold of. I like. He's like, I'm. I'm will be the plank king, and he's just in jail on dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's arrested. That would be just talking mad beautiful. shit from jail. <laughs> I took over. Everything's great here. Don't come visit. Everything's great. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. The planking totally abdicated when I asked him. <laughs> he was I'm fine. Very reasonable about it, honestly. <laughs> he was like, I don't want this title anymore. The letterhead says prison. <laughs> uh, we, and we got cool ass titles. Speaking of titles, what's that mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they talk about more about the titles they did. Um, and go, and though they didn't even refresh on what the, uh, what the titles were, um, then they come, came up with an interesting question. Um, at the end of the episode, in the episode, previous last episode, we met Chetney's fan and learned about the sea poppers. Dear the Lord. But now they're here. The question was that this Chetney made a deal to become the most famous or infamous, something like that, uh, infamous, um, uh, like woodcarver, or, or in all of uh, Xandria. 
So, did the sea powers exist before this deal? Well, or was this all a result of that? Like, just creeping. My question is, if it turns out that, will that take it away from us? Like, or until it just, like, I'm still taking it. Oh, great. I don't think that's... My, <laughs> my favorite is that, like, in canon, Keyless gave us all these titles, which meant, like, an hour before this meeting, she was like, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need a notebook. Thank you, I, need Danny, a, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think anything. about all these fucking names. She wasn't making it. She was saying it confidently. She was not making it up on the spot. She's planning that. She wrote that shit the night before. It was fully, it like, it was, she had it skywritten it. on the yeah, ceiling. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Above everybody's head. Like a teleprompter. Honestly, yeah, I was gonna say, using skywriting as like a prompter behind the crowd is uh, <laughs> actually pretty uh, fucking dope. Everybody behind them is like, yeah. Yeah, like whoa. <laughs> People in the back are mouthing their hands. Yeah. <laughs> and then she just waves her hand like she's being really cool and it just goes away. Yeah. Isn't oh. the title technically like Hope of the Red Storm? Isn't that bad? Couldn't that be I'm the Red Storm's Hope? Or you're the hope from the Red Storm. Yeah. Keep in mind, uh, the red storm is not the same as the red end. Okay, yeah. It's like one's a result of it, but maybe no. maybe because she's clued in and knows that you're you have to die first before you can achieve your ultimate, like Harry Potter. Yeah. Dumbledore knew that Harry had to go, so you have to. Spoilers. Please. He really doesn't know the story. I don't. Is that a real thing? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh well, I, this is a very. Anyway, uh, next up, Tower of Inquiry. Game, remember <gasps> when we did that? I did, it was awesome. That was actually really great. Let's decide who picks using... Oh! <gasps> oh! This oh. bottle. I was wondering about Adding that one. Adding oh. rules. You know what I realized afterwards is that I could have used my mage hand to make... Anybody kiss anybody that wants to. Oh. And I wasn't. Next doing. time. I was kind of Damn, wondering if how was fair of you. Do that. I'm going to do that next time. I love you using tried to do it, to but with sure your, it at me every time. your claw. <laughs> uh huh. In a very. I got to make up with, with Imogen. Yeah, right? I could have just awesome. moved it. Yeah. No, but you didn't want to. I was the make out bandit. <laughs> I got Dorian, y'all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Like, like, yeah. Everyone's had that. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking before. <laughs> like okay, let's see. Yeah. When that happened, I was like, you just before, and I was like, it would be funny if if they forced Chad to be a different one. I go, and I was like, I was like, yes! Here. <laughs> Is this going to spin forever? Yeah, yeah. My uh -huh. like, Not with those. This flies off the table. Whoa, whoa. Ah. You. Uh, that, you gotta split it. Is it, it. you? Is that, okay. Split it? Yeah. Okay, we'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Stay back here. I'm pulling. What? It looks so brand new. It yeah, is. it looks pristine. It's a new tower. It went kerplunk last time. <laughs> it went kerplunk last time? Mm -hmm. 35. 35. All right. 35. All right, from Brittany St. Cyr. I Woo! think I'm lined up with the camera. What up, St. Cyr? My favorite saint. Brittany St. Cyr. What is your favorite piece of Exandrian lore, or what lore topics are your favorite to delve into? Oh, Malaya's oh, mare! Oh, Jesus. Best city ever! Untapped oh, reservoir! <laughs> my beloved Malaya's mare! Oh, no! Oh, sleeps at night and I just hear him going, Malaya's mare! You see, Ludness, he got all fucking tweaky when I mentioned it because it was the best question. I know. It I got up question. under his ass, my hand was in there, I was just mm. working. Oh, where was your up hand? It, up his ass. Up in his it was butt. up Ludness's ass. Mm -hmm. Malaya's mirror, the key to everything. How how did it feel up there? Did it feel hot? Because he's a lot of house. It was <laughs> it was magnificent. Like, yeah, oh, it was incredible. Psych yeah, after that psychic damage. <laughs> uh, besides uh, Malaya's mirror, Travis also uh, has his other obsession, the shattered teeth. Mar Marisha very much wanting the mention bringing up again how they are uh, underwater uh, as they he's but they are entire civilizations hidden below things, and she only wants a mermaid campaign. Try 
thing. We keep, we need to do Did you know there's it. big ass pink and purple worms tra trapped in blocks of ice up at Isocross that like civilizations chisel through the ice and like eat parts of the worm and it gives people like powers and shit? Yeah, it's in these books that Matt fucking wrote. It's amazing. It's in these there's all sorts of shit. <laughs> it's Silra, we've only seen like a fucking fifth of it. There's yeah. so much good stuff. We gotta, see I didn't know we made books. <laughs> Just like you didn't know we They have done. words in them, which is a you natural know. repulsive. We have books? <laughs> Fuck. This is we my job, you guys. <laughs> no, we're not. No, but we're not allowed to read, allowed to read the damn books. Yep. So that's that's how, do we, we oh, how do you know about that? You read the books. Danny read them to me. Wow, really? Yep. Really, you're calling out our audiobook exchange? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was a secret yeah. between you and me. It's true. Hey, Kyle. For real, though, let's not forget about mermaid campaign. Yeah. Let's put Yay. that on my whiteboard. Are you just gonna do? Like I'm a not involved in mermaid. <laughs> yeah, somehow, I'm not I'm mermaid. so mad. Is that what we're doing? I want to be a mermaid so bad. <gasps> Should we all be mermaids? Halloween. Mermaids and mermaids. We gotta come up with a Halloween costume. You we guys haven't like... said it yet, have we? Well, no. no. Not well, for four sided dive. Oh, because we're the show. Yeah. at the end of this episode, we're gonna pull for four sided dive. No, but, but no. for the show, for the show. No, well, we talked about it. We had some. Have we finally really decided though? We need to reignite. Did you already come up? Did, you're like, we decided, because I already got my stop. That's I didn't get my stop, but I thought we decided. Oh, awesome. Do I spoil it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we'll pull it out. I'll tell you guys. I, I remember. I just didn't know if we decided to say yeah. it on that. Okay. We haven't said Fraggle it out loud. <laughs> so I guess it's not like that. We got to figure it out, though. It's like around the corner. Right. I'll text the chain. <laughs> right now? Yeah. Okay. There's okay, I'm going to spin again. There's a yeah! Someone else is spinning this. Get so. wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Got okay, this, okay. Queen. I hate it when they pick side ones. It makes it harder. You all, you have to pick a side one if you start. I yes, know, you do. Hard. Don't pick a middle one that's pansy shit. That's my, that's my <laughs> way. My way. This one's, ooh, this is a tight. My way. <laughs> Tower's tight. Ooh, she tight? She tight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, She's gentle. Uh, you got this, Marisha. If you boy, knock it down on the second. It's making me nervous. It's like, oh, hey. wow. 19. Nine, 19. No, 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 19. No, 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 no. no. All right. From, tw oh, <laughs> I'm so glad that we got this one. From Twitch username, the swan ate my baby. <laughs> <laughs> so far in the campaign, what has been your character's biggest achievement, and what has been your character's biggest regret? Oh. Boy. Oh. Boy. I don't know if I could say this about myself personally, <laughs> let alone my character. <laughs> uh, well, let's start with achievements. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other part? Regret. Regret. <laughs> there are only two things. <laughs> <laughs> And they're in direct done. opposition. <laughs> this is a weird episode. I feel like, I know, right? I feel like it just happened, but I'm really happy that you are free of Delilah. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Right. That's, I mean, that's, that's for years, that's what. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. the fact that they got free, it, that was it. Um, the... She's been wanting. Yeah. That's better than going to the fucking moon? God, y'all are lame. We went to the moon. <laughs> Nobody else has done that. We did it. You got free of the land. Yeah, but I'm just talking for years. <laughs> yeah. Bob spent sure, more I met my mom with too. Delilah in her head. I hope she Alan Shepard isn't watching this. <laughs> Ooh, um, achievements. What have we done? Nothing important. What have we done, done in this campaign? Nothing. You've made no improvement on anyone's lives or bettered any cause anywhere in the yeah, world. Yeah, no. Sorry, Swan ate my baby. I'm sorry for them. I'm sorry they can't remember no. things. It deserves better <laughs> at the Swan ate my made baby. We did basement porn. That's we didn't make a great. basement porn. I was the front wheel of a, of a race car. That was awesome. That was pretty great. That was fun. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We paid like several years probably worth of rent to Shadana, to an old lady, yes. and brought her groceries. Yep. That's something to be proud of. That happened in like the first episode. <laughs> yep. Did, yeah. we, uh -huh. did we rescue 
orphans or free a town or, or, or make any discernible difference in anyone's lives? I know, <laughs> you did literally free a town. You did, did we? help Hearthdale. What's that? That's the town in a soul. Well, technically, you didn't do it. Well, but, no, no, <laughs> we did, yeah. yeah, we did. And then I and then I murdered uh, Bordor. Yes. We also protected so, the king and queen of Uthodur. Oh, that was a good one. Protected them. Yeah, king yeah. and queen doesn't compare to the moon landing. Oh, but that that felt good. <laughs> Yeah. That felt good. I think Chetney's biggest regret was leaving so many broken hearts up and down the Lucidian coast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was just, terrible. yeah, just wrecking game from, like, Port de Mali to Nicodronis. That's the Menagerie Coast. Whatever. <laughs> There's so many. They all kind of bleed together. I just know there Why were a lot of moonlit nights. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of lore, you guys. It's okay. Yeah. It's a lot of sand. A lot of places. Um, we kept Ashton from exploding. Yeah. That That's actually a pretty big. I mean, achievement. Achievement. <laughs> yeah, he literally. <laughs> boom. That was amazing. Because yeah. of Deanna's. Because of Deanna. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that was more of Deanna's achievement. Yeah. Fuck, we're useless. I basically gave Ashton the ring, so that was my achievement. Okay, good job. Yeah, y'all yeah, were healing and stuff, but we know what saved the day. I don't even know why you guys are in the campaign. It's basically just me at this point. Yeah. Well, you're. I feel like. Yeah, I don't know anything that I've done that was really, like, good, though. You helped me chase away a bird called Shithead. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's part of the that backstory. That is true. <laughs> Fucking bird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sarah also points out, like, well, like, FCG, well, like, big regret he may have for FCG is that they didn't, never followed up on the vaccine and tried to meet him. And now, at this point, they really don't have any reason to with FCG gone. Yes, he did. And for Marisha, uh, Lana, like, well, something Lana would, do, would probably regret is how she handled the sword, uh, sword gate. Uh, and Laura, um, the biggest regret for Imogen would be, like, leaving her mom on, on the moon, like, whereas she seems to be coming back side, um, so, like, but she's been, she's like, oh, but she's been real indoctrinated with it. And so, you just could be basically leave her. Uh, you know, that, and that's like, wait, if she, it sounds like it, she really is, uh, and if she's up there, she could be re indoctrinated and turned back to Ludens' side. Ass in the stroller. Yeah. Heavy dude now. He's just oh. on this little golden chair. Oh no, and I already touched it, but yeah, ooh, this great. is a danger zone. Like a yeah. battering yeah. Well, ram. He got yeah. the base. It's, it's all it moving. People. Danny. Like, cow catcher on oh, the front of the train. There's nothing I can <laughs> they were like, hey, I was like, watch over the kid. <laughs> I was overconfident. Here's <laughs> my son to beat people. Oh, yeah. They get mad and they look down and see that sweet thing. Oh. You went to the bottom? It's an unstable. <gasps> oh! Oh, you're such an asshole! Oh, wow! Oh, come on! All righty. Oh, unnatural fear. <clears throat> what was that? I don't know. What was that? <laughs> I didn't see it move. Eh, it was something. <laughs> Get on the uh, Okay, thirty from Ren from Renee. Sometimes tension is high, and there are arguments between characters. How to? How do you manage those situations outside of the game and check in with each other as friends? Oh, that's a great sword question. Gate. So yeah, speaking of sword gate. Okay. Well, uh, basically, uh, uh, the things I talk about, like how, like they think, like so, cool, they get into this stuff and they think everything's going to handle stuff, and to find out that someone's legitimately frustrated by what you did there. Like she was like, like oh, that was such a don't see in there. Then like. Uh, at the end, of, and then she looked like to, um, she looked uh, to, to um, Liam, and he's like, I think legitimately annoyed. Um, uh, basically, at the, I think the key that it, it, for dealing with this stuff is. Making sure you're okay. Like immediately after the episode, like when one of these things occurred, uh, check with the the um. Mm. 
check with the other players to make sure everything's good, like they just had fun with it. So, um, the biggest thing for them was, um, is, is like that could cause some tension in the group after t real life tension. Is like when one of them does like a goes off plan, the plan and stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's something unplanned, uh, uh, which ends up being a big game changing thing like that. Like, There, um, um, and like we all talked as a group afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. let's talk this through and settle this before we. <laughs> you did. You vamoose. <laughs> as soon as that episode was done, I could feel there was tension at the table. <laughs> I silently just got my stuff and I left. <laughs> I think you guys stayed and talked about it. We did. We did. I, I couldn't take it. <laughs> I couldn't take it. I just went to my car and drove home. Oh, no. <laughs> and then you were like, hey, everything's fine when you got yep, back. Yep, yep. <laughs> I assume it was resolved. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, it was great. <laughs> it was. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay. I would say then. <laughs> I just left. 90... <laughs> five percent of the time. <laughs> Incredible. Where it's cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> I think I, I might have stopped, You're stopped so at the sweet. kitchen to get my food, <laughs> but then I left. <laughs> I, I didn't wow. want any. I didn't want to see my friends mad at each other. <laughs> oh, uh, they talk about more instances like where they may have been like high uh, like someone says like something unexpected and it had major game. Like a lot, of, some of them were kind of annoyed with Caleb that that Liam had Caleb give up the beacon, and during, when they were first met, uh, met the Bright Queen. And so that's like a good example. Um, oh, well, <laughs> like uh, I could think of one also good example of like a do. Do, uh, not game changing, but definitely was like unappreciated time. <laughs> in the shaving of Grog, or the half shaving of Grog, because you can see Travis actually breaking a mechanical pencil on, pencil on screen. Like, it wasn't that major of a deal because it was just a comic thing. Didn't really change the word, but. You ran into battle at one point in time, and I remember Taliesin having a great one-liner saying, please stick to something resembling the plan. <laughs> like, not even the plan, just... <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. There's but, so many yeah. of us. Someone's bound to start some shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. In terms of, like, like, handling it, though, I don't know. We talk real good. Yeah. yeah. We Except talk for about you, it. runs away. <gasps> yeah, but you're great at talking, Sam. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Plus, there's always like it's it all comes with know. context afterwards. Like in the game, you can't be like pause. What, what the, the fuck are you yeah, thinking? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then afterwards, I was trying to do that. I didn't think that, or I thought you guys knew that. And you're like, oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. But again, that's so, it's so few and far between. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it was just a straight up home game, we would 100% do that at the table. Like during the game. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, what are you, wait, what are you, what why would you do that? Here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old tree who smoked weed said this was a bad idea, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Allison. <laughs> <Is it fair? laughs> I think it was said. I think we said that. Above the table, yeah. Yeah, we try to do it the professional improv way. We're like, we're picking up on the cues. We yeah. get you lay it down. What the nope. fuck is happening? <laughs> no, they're going to come heal me. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> they're by yourself. We have nothing. Because of all I remember, because like Travis and I sit next to each other, and I remember me and him like talking off the side, and we're like, we're just going to, what the fuck can we do about this? Yeah. We can't do shit except yeah. for sit here and be fucking mad. Uh huh. <laughs> like a hundred feet. 
down the, <laughs> down uh, the pyramid. Or like Laura and you as FCG. We're like, guys, what? I don't remember you looking over and being like, do what something. Do? And I was like, what Get are we there? doing? I can make bees come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna fucking help in this moment. He's like, like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn into a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what are oh. what are we supposed to do right now? <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, Travis, okay, you're the fi final one, final spinny spin. Please don't let it be me. Kyle! Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Did you just nope out of it? He noped out! Hold this spin. Whoa. Whoa! Hey. Oh, God, I'm gonna suck. God, it's already oh, it compromised. Really compromised. I'm Just pull from the other bottom piece. Over do here? That. Yeah, do that one, because it'll balance it out. I feel like you're setting me up for <laughs> failure. Saw <Not> that <sighs> smile. Oh, dang, yeah. Good job, oh, baby. Good 50. 50? 50? That doesn't make any sense. 15, I assume. Oh, 50, five, zero. No, it's not. Five. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, there is. For some reason, I thought I hold the, the Lord of Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nice. thirty questions. Oh shit! No, there's more. Um, okay, it is. Do -do -do -do. How did you come? Oh, from the Unicorn Elf from the Beacon Discord. It's a great okay. name. So good. Yeah. How did you come about choosing your characters for Downfall? How hands-on could you be on deciding factors? Laura and Marisha, it's a great question for you two. <laughs> Well, I she wasn't there. She was, you know, crazy. To, um, it it was an interesting one for them because um, because it was not like a what for uh, like like you're trying to do this new character stuff. They they had they had specific already pre like. These are already established characters that they're picking out. Like these are entities are pre-established that they have to pick from. Echo, you're not going. Oh, this is the city, and I'm going to create a character that lives in that city. It was that was a. Oh, oh. Sound like is that the brown one. note? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. Ronan, did we already tell this story? What? Well, I don't know. Tell it. <laughs> We were, Ronan, we were putting him to bed, and just out of the blue, he's like listening to his oh. bedtime story, and he just goes, "Hey, you know what mommy's burp sound like?" And we were like, "What?" And he goes, "Oh, what?" <laughs> he's tucked in. We're done bedtime. He's got his little blanket pulled up tight. The lights are low. Oh. You know what mommy burp sounds like? A rat. <laughs> in the dark. I lost my shit. A <laughs> oh <my> rat. <laughs> You howitzer. And you I like burp, I'll burp at home and he'll be like, see? <laughs> That's what I meant. You hear it uh, across the house. Yep. I love that. Anyway, this one was different. <laughs> As I told you, I had to choose from basically the pool gods and stuff. But so it's like you weren't like creating a character from scratch. Um then uh, you, then we go into the deep dive. This is her very well-crafted uh, quandaries from uh, within novelty beverage repositories, and we cram them into our mind holes with our eyes, oh, wow. which is a commonly known as reading. Quandary. Jesus fucking Christ, Kyle! Oh, do we have Quandary. mind I don't holes? Think a quandary is a question. We have mind oh, quandary oh, is a problem. Cup. Yep. Is a is mind a hole? A <laughs> I think a quandary is that two mind yours. holes, if so. I feel like it should be splattered with, like... Uh, maybe third. Define quandary. Instead of Sharpie. Thank you. Don't you think? It's Thank a you, state Danny. of perplexity or uncertainty. Sorry. Okay. It is a dilemma. It is not a question. We go. Marisha tells us. We'll change it in post. Yeah, she decides. I think he meant queries. Mate, I, bet, I bet Kyle really appreciates the nitpicking <laughs> of, his, uh, of his script. <laughs> 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 it might be. Wait, was it query? And I said it wrong. No, you said it right. It was. It was just written wrong. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <Sam. laughs> wow. <laughs> 
I feel that so deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, uh, going first, Marisha, who's, serving who's me going well. First? Um, I'll go first. Oh my god, 20 years later. <laughs> Fuck. Get off. Okay. That's what she said. Uh, does having Delilah in the soul anchor change how you approach playing Laudna? I mean, yeah. It's a literal weight lifted off my off my shoulders and soul. Yeah, now she yes, it now but this now if her character could be she could move forward as a character. Mentioned in the cooldown how difficult it is to separate your thoughts as the matron experiencing downfall versus Imogen watching a thousand years later. What is the why what? <laughs> what did I do? Nope. That was what is that her. brain gymnastics like? What? And what how do you keep it gymnastics? all straight? That's, uh, there's not. Uh, the key that, uh, before is that she, oh, Laura, before her, uh, her, she speaks in character, the, uh, thinks, uh, have to sing a lot. Uh, like, think a lot before you talk. And make sure you remember which character you are and and how that that character would respond. I get rid of them boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Born and Imogen would get along so great. <gasps> Don't let them meet. Maybe meet. <gasps> the wedding! Think of the wedding! Oh no! Imogen would never go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Born and Imogen would get along so great. <gasps> Don't let them meet. Maybe they'll meet. <gasps> the wedding. Think of the wedding. Oh, no. Would you would never go for it. Maybe I don't would. know. He's handsome. Would Ford? Danny, now? don't put me on the spot. It would be so weird. She's got mind control powers. <laughs> That's true. For you to leave your fiance, who's your real wife. For my for wife. For your wife. Yeah. It sounds like something yeah, we see before, up. Samuel. Yep. <laughs> sounds right. Possibility. <laughs> now that's a what if. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, 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 that's a, a what if. That's a what if. Yeah. Uh, Grog made his first cameo. How was it to see your boy and what was the best part? Matt's impersonation was my favorite part. Also, Braeus almost picking a fight with him and then seeing Grog and Pike reunited was amazing and he yeah. represented himself so well he did so good in the council he, he is just doing a great job he was doing such a good body bodyguard work right he was so good man especially considering apparently he was a little toasty yeah. <laughs> was he He's just a little wasty pants during the council meeting was he drinking yeah he had well, been drinking before he matt threw that in his pike where she was like i told you you shouldn't have had those pints i was pints laughing too hard i was before. missing some of it I, my <laughs> eyes were watering i yeah. was laughing so much his stupid face just like the when is when is Dro when is grog not a little bit toasty face? that's true i know always got ale i'm sure he found another one of those big jars that just auto generates the liquid mm -hmm. yeah. that was probably one yeah of the i feel like he today. still has his alchemy jug what's in his bag of holding that's <gasps> oh. what we gotta find Ooh, out. Like no, that's a really good TikTok. 70 years of shit in the bag of cultivated holding. stuff just slaw and body it's parts been 70. it hasn't been 70 years 70 years 30 31 <laughs> 31 years, <laughs> 30 years. 30 years? Well, 31. 30 years. Okay. Yeah, we, a campaign okay. ended in That's right. uh, 812 PD. We are currently in 843 PD. And so, old man correct, Percy isn't too old 31. man Percy. I was thinking old man Percy was going to be walking around with like a bad hip at this point, but. <laughs> he built no, it. He's got one. a cool cane that yeah. he doesn't actually need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He doesn't actually need it. His little unassuming cane. Go get him. Sam, how does it feel playing such a flirty character? Look at your mug. I hadn't even seen it. This is okay. a temporary. I love it. Moo. Moo. Um, after being in FCG's fleshy metal skin for so long, how does it feel to be flirty? It feels like <laughs> stepping into an old, old slipper. <laughs> an old, stanky slipper. Um, <laughs> Um, talks about how it was like the other characters and stuff, like change, like uh, it changes after Scanlan. This he played Scanlan. Well. This is a little, much more similar to Scanlan, like how flirty he is. So it's 
So as he says, he's doing what he does best, like playing a player again. It's like, uh, like slipping back into that, so, in a sense. Plus 15 to deception. Then why? It's, a, it's right a high stat. Okay. Of the oh, that's mods, right. Like, they're talking about plus 13 or something. Yeah. Plus 14. It's 14. <laughs> I have a plus 15 to deception. Then why am I so much better at it than you? Dang! Yeah, Truth! Oh, I gotta bump that <laughs> up somehow. This is one of those player conflicts. <laughs> this is where Sam disappears. <laughs> Don't destroy you. embarrass me in front of the cameras like that ever again. <laughs> You know how I care about my reputation <laughs> and my image. Oh my I god. Will <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. That was terrifying. That's what Matt does. Yeah. It is imagine? fun watching you play Braeus though, because I feel like this might be the biggest, like, like when you go from Braeus to Sam, <laughs> it's the biggest whiplash, because you'll be like, yeah, I just, you know, it's my, it is my god. <laughs> 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 the ejector That's so good. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Musubi. Delilah <laughs> Musubi. Delilah is trapped in the crystal, which Laudna got to metaphorically enter and experience. What do you think of Delilah's prison? It's what a shit hell hole. Fucking <laughs> 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 shit. <laughs> For her, it's just nice to see the shoe on being on the other foot. Uh, <laughs> you can just take, take another one. Luminous has. Why do I sound what? so fucking drunk? You read so fast at home. I and know. Then you're <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read it like I'm smart. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if it's an acting thing, mm -hmm. she can do it. Yeah. Ludinus has seemingly confirmed his nope. <laughs> seemingly confirmed his need for Ruin is born and that he deeply <laughs> Oh no, is there like <laughs> Is there a gas leak? My life is stupid. <laughs> Methane poisoning. Oh, no, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Smells smart. like farts. I'm smart. Ludinus has seemingly confirmed his need for Ruidus born and that he deeply wants Imogen in particular to join him. Listen, I can do this. What do you think his plans are? And how do you feel being the center of his focus? Hey, you made it. I did it. You did it. Top of the mountain. I, I. What was the. At this point, she was, she, as far as her, the, the plan is to either uh, get, use the word to break through the final layers and to, and either have, ha, have uh, Pradathos like siphon, uh, un, uh, absorb uh, all, all the powers of the Rudas born he gave him. To rather myself, or to siphon off Pradathos into the consciousness of the rudest born to use them as puppets. So then they talk about more about their theory, how there's some connection between between the Between the Pradathos and the Luxon, it seems that they're similar entities. I, uh, like, the, you know, they both came down like a ball of light, like one's red light, well, what? Uh, my theory, I will rename my theory again. I think, um, I think the Lux, uh, the, the, uh, the Pradathos is what we saw destroy the Eternal Palace at Tangar. Or, you know, that thing that popped on the tree and, and then started to take out the gods and the. That divine realm, that uh, uh in but in, I think it's the, the embodiment of that, and I think the Luxon is just but the fragments of Ten God, or you know the, the Temple was that left on something. Most likely, all uh, the bits of it that were used to make the ship that ferried the gods, which crashed into Alexandria. Basically, it, they're all just they're, it's just essentially spaceship wreckage. My God, the entire this is potentially based on alien on extraterrestrial ship. This is like sounds like the biggest conspiracy theory like on our. Yeah. 
pieces. That's but like be in the vision, the Pradathos landed in the same crash of light. Yeah. I think he looks like Slim Goodbody. <laughs> Who's that? You should Google it. Okay. Is that a scary thing? No, he was a man in the 80s who taught you about your body by wearing a skin-tight Lycra suit that had the human... Oh, that oh, guy! Oh, that guy! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hair, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. John Burstein. Wait, he has a name? No, well, we obviously. Didn't need that. We didn't need that. Slim Goodbody. Slim Goodbody. <laughs> what, you, did, you thought that Slim Goodbody was... Was his actually his, his birth name? birth name? <laughs> Wait, his Lycra suit has a diagram of a body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't remember that? Oh, 80. Yeah. Um, this, what was uh, it like for Chetney to play such a massive part in Laudna's ritual as the one handling I mean, yeah. her surgery? <laughs> you were huge. I he sort of says no big deal, but I think it's a joke in uh, All man he does describe it is he's performing a surgical procedure with a wood chisel by, by taking a wood chisel to her chest. That's the best way to summarize it. Your own chest, because you did the like the, the like hellhound yeah, thing too. Did. That's true. Yeah. Kind of ruined the fun, but yeah. But. <laughs> Brea smoked the heroism pipe, showing a moment of great intensity when he killed a follower. Why was that moment chosen? Mm. And why did you highlight that Asmodeus did not speak to Breus? Um. For him, uh, he's described, uh, Sam describes it as, as, um, as Brace's moment of true devotion uh, and stuff. And, and part of, I uh, also, it kind of conveys to them, uh, in order to get them to like this character who Sam has outright said is an evil character, is to make an evil but the fact, and like basically saying, like, the thing and didn't get even a, a acknowledgement is that's the best way to make it say pathetic. Embarrass me like this. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again. That's happening. And, uh, I will destroy he's you. Like, he's like, I left during the conflict, but he just blacked out and didn't realize he was the one driving it all. Yeah. Fucking memento style. Uh -huh. How did Laudna feel standing up to the council about her powers and connect? In a word, terrifying. It was so, and it was funny, she found it very interesting how the ones who came in, a lot of the religious people there, the ones who gained her defense, were, the, were those of the Matron of Ravens, like the, who were on the Temple of Matron, uh, Matron of Ravens uh, would be one of the biggest... Uh, and enemies to undead grief, like she hates undead death with a kind of stuff. But uh, they confirmed that she used to be a mortal wizard and all stuff, and knows the difference between, like, how, like, for something a creature that has a mind stuff, she won't blame it if it didn't have a choice. Like, she'll blame, the, like, Delilah, so whoever was responsible for their undeath. Good life. Yeah. So. She's she's the victim. As yeah. As far as we know. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe that what lobster. What doesn't break coming out in just a couple <laughs> months? <laughs> yeah. Do I have yeah. two? <gasps> hey, this is for both of us. Ooh. Imogen and Laudna are back together. <laughs> what was it like playing them on the outs? And how does it feel for them both to have reconciled after the Delilah debacle? I mean, once. It Again. It just seems so much easier, like, uh, for them like this, and, uh, it's just, like, a load off of both of their shoulders, like, now they don't have this interference in their life. Like, this was the biggest obstacle to them being a couple, and it's gone, so now they can fully commit to the relationship. It's just not healthy. Yeah, in the place that they're in. Yeah. 
but everything's healthy. So much better. You're not going to break up with Matt, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, How did you... Co-worker, that's worker. Big, like, extrapolate that. Ex what? <laughs> <laughs> extrapolate. Okay, explain it's a liquid you. <laughs> Quandary. Uh, <laughs> How did you exfoliate that from what I said? <laughs> Versha was talking about some guy that she dated at a Wendy's once. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're not going to break up with Matt, are you? Whitestone Andy. <laughs> What's the worst I'm just job? just saying more. What's the worst job? They talk about some of the worst jobs they've ever had. Uh, don't talk about this stuff. Uh, uh, Laura talks about how she got so, a place called... Um, uh, knowledge store, which it showed some like sciencey stuff, which apparently wasn't fun. Um, nothing real about twins here. Oh. Yeah, it was like a a store that sold telescopes and like that, that. Oh, that's cool. You know, like mind games and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Why did Chetney not tell Ashton about the Bright Queen's offer? Because I love drama. <laughs> Any opportunity, uh, yeah. any opportunity to fuck with amen, another baby, character. Yeah. <laughs> I could share this with my teammate and be a good player, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you, speaking yeah. of frustration, I could just, I could feel the frustration like floating off of Talison as yeah. you were just not saying it. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't an offer oh. to Ashton. It was no. an offer it to means you. Yeah. 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 To betray Ashton, yeah. which I'm definitely going to do. <laughs> Chetney, man, he's a little uh, shit. How do you think I got to be faux hundo? Yeah, by stealing money. Selling 100%. You Stella. have no much money. You have no idea how much money the bank I has. No, because he steals, like, anytime we come across money, Chetney just picks it I'm up a war and doesn't share here, it with the group. I've just been and, funding the dynasty. And the I got... Oh, this is a pet peeve. All this Jack shit, is. all in the first campaign about how greedy Vex was. Yeah, how you, she was always doing horrible things. You do it in a greedy way. Yeah, you're, he you're does too it cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> overt about it. Ah, Jesus. Too Talks overt. Like you, you are right, though. Something, something, double standards. Something, something. 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 Mm -hmm. Reyes spoke to the council, <laughs> spoke highly of his Bell's <laughs> Hell's companions. What was it like to play that moment? Do his words reflect his true feelings about his new party members? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yes? No! Lies, lies. The no way! One and a half days! <laughs> I've known these people for months. That's so funny. That's right, you said that, yeah. uh -huh. didn't you? Uh -huh. If I'm gonna lie, I might as well do it right. Oh, yeah. garbage. <laughs> oh, garbage. Um, I, I understood the... Basically how I saw it is that, like, they were doing a good job presenting it. Now they needed something to do, and they, like, they were silly go and that he thought they need a lie with some, from someone with high charisma. Your character will fuck Scanlan and cause a TPK as a result. Yeah. <laughs> I would not have um, that, that said that more. There. Speed round. Come on, we got to go through. Yeah. It's like it's like eleven o'clock. Come on. <laughs> Laudna and Orum had a few strong moments together before and during the ritual. With Laudna mentioning she hoped that it would be Orum who took her down. Why did she look to Orum for that option? Mm. <laughs> I got the same one. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's the, the, it came down to two things. Orm looks like was one was one one of the people who a couple of the people that looks like he could make the hard decision there if need be. And there, there, but she absolutely did not want it to be done by Imogen, like, but but not because of how her, her, her effect a lot of that, but how it would affect Imogen, like having to take a little. There was one other who could make a hard decision, but uh, there was a scholar life for a specific reason, I, which I think I have. Well, significant other. Plus, there's always a risk they won't actually do it. Right. Yeah. So it's Definitely like, I, it just feels like Orum would be able to make the hard choice. Yeah, Chetney could also. Who the fuck are you sleeping Chetney, on? Chetney yeah, that would have been Chetney. Instant. You got it, babe. Yeah. 
<laughs> I make it hurt why. or be yeah. terrible or quick. I could. I got a variety. I got a menu pre. -set. Okay, but all right. See, you're gonna but, enjoy it too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you start. You're start. You're starting to go. You're gonna give Orm reverse anguish. Though now. You're gonna give Orm anguish. I just be like. <laughs> yeah, but you might be like, well, she's turning bad. Yeah, you know that. What I mean? Maybe yeah, a little too quick yeah, on that's the draw. That's yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Chetney would. Watch your uh, shit. You want the job too badly, Chet. Yeah. Like, Laudna could sneeze, and you'd be like, God, oh, kill her! Get her. <laughs> like, yeah. I could see Orem just waiting to be like, okay, no, this is the this is the moment. Yeah. Understandable. Still hurt. <laughs> Still hurt. Disagree. We got to see Vex acting as representative for the entire Taldori Council. <laughs> what was it like seeing her in a place of such importance? <laughs> It was great. Wow. It was everything she deserved. <laughs> yeah. Can't pay well. Get it. Coming up. Yeah. Yes, queen. It was pretty great. That's it. That's how I feel. You were so stoked on it. Yeah. I could tell oh. how proud you were. Oh, this is a big one. It says, what is it like for Chetney to meet a true fan of his work and to be surrounded by all of his crafted pieces, especially after being referred to as a guy who makes chairs in front of Alexandria's leader? Well, first of all, that's not wrong. <laughs> I yeah, he did make chairs. His peers are fair where he was exclusively chaired, but, you know, as I recall, they meant from all the Loomis may have something to do with, with why he, why that period ended. <laughs> well, but it's kind of like a big moment and stuff there. I'll say, like, my favorite part of the episode is, like, just watching, ch like, ch like, uh, Travis react to Chet, like, react to how Chetty would be, like, Overwhelmed and like brought to tears of earth by this. Also, he kind of has a secret plan, like a while back. Like, if it all fails, he's setting the ch the sea pops on on Pardathos. <laughs> Pretty sure he wasn't serious about that, but. Uh... Assemble them like Voltron. Oh, oh, then they come to life. But you really, you have to incorporate the anal egg uh, as the final piece. Well, that's like, yeah, that's the Arkenstone. Yeah, the power yeah, that's, is the egg that's like the soul gem. Yeah. Uh, that's the Jaeger that I built out of wood. It just has some durable. What, what, but it what not... grand demon do you have trapped in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> I would explain so much. <laughs> It's real uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the saving throws I have to roll, you guys. <laughs> you talking about high for. modifiers. Ooh, baby. <laughs> what grand demon <clears throat> you chapped in your ass. How is Braeus feeling with the platinum dragon of it all, wearing the armor of his former god? Um, talking about saints. Uh, I sort of answered this a little bit before, but I think it's, uh, it's refreshing and sort of sentimental for Braeus to sort of walk back down Platinum Lane. I'm just going to ask this other one also. Yeah, since why not? You're no stranger to playing new characters late in the campaign, with Terry and even Veth undergoing massive physical transformation. How is Braeus different? Uh, are there ways in which the experiences are similar? Oh, I do do this a lot, you don't do. I? <laughs> this is your thing. This is my thing. Boy, I'm so boring, unpredictable. But maybe this one's different, because maybe... This one, no, it's the same. <laughs> what was the question? How is... Either that or uh, The biggest thing is this one has a distinct mission to, like, it's there for a specific person's mission. And not just, like, it's someone joining away for just for... See where... He has to... Also, it's the first time playing evil character in main campaign. Yeah, gotta get faster. That was fun. <laughs> um, how did it feel for Laudna to finally decide that it was time for Delilah's reign to end? What was the exact tipping point for you during the Delaudna fight? Yeah, I mean... I the biggest thing for her was that, like, she didn't want to have anything that would make her a liability going into the game game. Like, this is like, the apocalypse is here. Here, it's do or die. Hey, or it's do or whole world dies. Potentially, she did not want to have anything thing that could hinder that.
but it's good. It was did fun. it. Oh, oh, that was so wait. pathetic. How did it, did it? Did it I just, just it? didn't know, it just dropped right on down. If it? Sam, you, Sam. Oh, wow. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's just the loading up the armory. <laughs> Go. Talk to us about that daydream with Liliana and how Imogen felt learning that her mother will be a satellite for the occultist Thalamus. Did she want to tell her not to broadcast? Yes. <laughs> 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 Perfect! Perfect! 10 out of 10! Ray! Oh, so good. oh my god. What is it like being Ray Gun? Oh. oh, honestly, it's rough right now. I'm so proud of my, my name. <laughs> Out here doing uh, uh, bacon the ray gun. I got mad. Can we, I got mad wait, props. Can you just do some break dancing at the end of the show? Honestly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the daydream. It's a roo. Yeah. I think it's terrible. Yeah. It's like hard for her and stuff, and she really wanted to have her her come back trying to get, escape that and, and not to do this, but. Ultimately, she wants her mother to be safe right now, like only in every territory. Being, like, if it comes down to it, she would want her to be able to finish, if, if only to ensure her safety. But this has been talked about many times before. She can't. I'm going to kill your mom. You've used sea invisibility quite a few times in both <laughs> Campaign 2 and here in Campaign 3. What was it like to turn on that spell and see a massive fucking dragon overhead? Awesome. There was no way either Dorian or I. Do you also have sea invisibility? No. Dorian and I, one of us was going to do it. Because you got to check out the guards and the wards Whoa. and the spells yeah, you in have that to. room. <laughs> I didn't expect to see a dragon coiled up underneath the ceiling. That was that amazing. Was yeah. Yeah. Make that, yeah, that room did not disappoint between the judicators and the golems and the dragon and oh, right. cast of characters. Because it. The, the, was golems, in there. Were, the golems, were they also invisible? Six <laughs> golems that yeah. were, yeah, I think they were invisible, and the, the dragon Andy certainly circuses. was. <laughs> and he harumphed at one point. He was like, hmm. Yeah, here. yeah, he did, he did. Right. That's cool. With the crazy name, Ashalashal Mahal. Ash Dionysus. Ash nope. Uh, no, nope. that wasn't it's it. It's closer really than mine. Close. You are close. Yeah. Ash. 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 That was the end. Athodionite. Yeah. Anyway, now we got to the next, the, the return to the Tower of Inquiry question. That's it. Is that right? That know. sounds, I don't know. I think that's what it was. Are you sounds doing like, it? Oh. 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 oh, Samuel. Not a real bar. <laughs> oh, it moved. <laughs> oh, did you hit the bar? Huh? It, is, it is a set. <laughs> don't go there. No, Sam. Don't do that weak shit. Start low. Oh, oh two. boy. There we go. Oh, oh boy. Oh, God. Aerial Van Zant. Uh, uh, take your time. Yep. <laughs> Ariel Van Zant asks, it's exciting every time we encounter a character from previous campaigns. Oh, what glimmers of their younger selves do you think your past characters still have? And what are some personality traits you hope they've developed or discovered? <laughs> For Travis, it's, um, he learned to like, uh, thought I learned a few more letters and stuff and now adds added to his name, like, mm -hmm. And also thinks that at this point, um, Grog may have found love and lost it. Uh, for Sam, he wants to know, uh, he kind of wants to see uh, Pike and Scanlan interact post-divorce. Like, it was an admirable split, but it's still good. So it's interesting to see how they play it off. Because you wanted to play as a divorced couple mm -hmm. in Calamity. I know. And now it's happening again. Mm -hmm. You've been wanting to be divorced for s so long. Are That's you true. and Q going to break up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 no. It's only, it's only oh, fair. The reverse. Yeah. No, reverse. 
Who the fuck? Who no reverse? Woo. No. <laughs> I love her and she loves me. It, it's for... They're, um... For... <laughs> For Risha, it's like the fact that Kiki still has to take like deep breaths before public speaking. Like, there's still a bit of her nerve stuff. And you can see like angry Keyleth uh, underneath the surface. Question: Another question is, um, does Vex know what happened to Vex? Like, what happened to Vex was specifically mentioned during that meeting, but we've never uh, we got confirmation. But she Vex uh, Vex seems awfully chill that for because her dear her brother do if she knows is this just a little something Matt did, oh, oh, like overlooked or something they feel like she has to know at this point but so and then there was another question like what it would. Uh, who, which would, which member of Vox Machina would be hardest to get back for for another mission? And it was like, like well, all I think everyone but Sam immediately went and said, uh, "Well, scan and stuff." Like he's the only one who hasn't appeared here. Also, like he's like the one who most likely would try to stay out. Like he at this point, he'd since he and Pike split up. He's, He's fought, the most important relationship he had would be with his daughter and doesn't want to risk it, you know, like. Though they gotta agree that uh, one close contender would be Percy in this one because he also seems comfortable where he is. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. She's still hot. She's still, She's hot. still hot. Amazing tits. <laughs> <laughs> hot tits and a push up, Rod. Right. Never die, Hi. baby. That's all you need to get. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I hate this. Never <sighs> yeah. die, Hi. baby. That's all you need to get Percy yeah. on a mission. Girl, go. Sorry. Paul. Who's <laughs> Next, she's got to snap her fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Not, yes, mommy. I don't Oh. I hate this. <sighs> Go for it. I'm nervous for you. Bottom one. <laughs> I believe in you. Oh, that one's not too bad. Oh. Too easy. The other ones were not gonna. It wasn't. It's not forty-nine. Okay. Ooh, oh, it is. Oh, I'm a little scared of it. I just want this to be shitty for the next group, to be honest. Yeah. What if you're in the next group? That's happened a well, lot before. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do anything Poetry. interesting over the next few Poetry. episodes. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, here it is. Uh, Tech565, mm. Scary Ghosty on Twitter. Mm. As more time passes in the universe with each campaign, do you feel that technological advances will surpass magic at some point or vice versa? Is there a balance that keeps each side in check to prevent such a thing from occurring? Wow. That's a good question. Yeah, that's yeah. a great question. But then they do like, uh, like when it, there's like technology and magic, the one is literally, literally like it's a contest between the two. Well, uh, to the final answer, um, one thing they do theorize, wonder uh, if, um, after the age of clarity, where not which were not so many magical advances were taking place, a technological and magical advances were taking place that people were literally turning away from gods because of all this new, te new stuff, and it's that and that this also led to an arrogance that was exploited by the uh, betrayers to have to initiate the return. Aaron. Are the gods secretly having some of their followers or uh, are secretly trying to suppress like major advances in technology? Right. 
you know, keep make so that they don't get to the point where they risk a new something new going up. Spin it, last one. Oh. <clears throat> or Marissa or whoever. Yeah, you can oh, jeez. Yeah, oh, jeez. Kyle. <laughs> that is so appropriate. <laughs> I just really want this to suck for the next group. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah. <laughs> so good. This is the last one. And I can say that because I'm the host. <laughs> Last one for tonight. So, Go for the hard one, Marisha. Do the bottom one. Do the bottom one. Marisha, I really like your boyfriend vibes tonight. Thank you. These yeah. are Matt's jeans. <laughs> oh. Because wow. I don't want to. Can you imagine if you wore my jeans? Yeah, it would be oh my hard God. to move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah, one hand behind the back, proper. Yeah, vibes. yeah, yeah. Whoa. You got this. Wow. Ooh. Even with the clunk at the end. It's not over. 48. Let's go. Okay, from Emerald Beacon. <gasps> you put it on the boom. Yeah, you put it on that heavy side. Well, oh, it's leaning. Yeah, it is. What? I'm scared. From Emerald Beacon. Some character elements, like Chetney's RTA tattoo or Veth's name anagram, seem designed to be revealed much later in the campaign. When you create these subtle details for your character, how do you determine when to reveal them? <laughs> well, they mentioned like, they don't want to make it reveal too uh, Travis Carl is you don't want to reveal too early, and you especially don't want to be the first one to start revealing a... Uh, he mentioned also the RTA originally. Uh, um, he came up a little later in campaign, so it, originally it he didn't know what it would mean. This came up like this, and he knew he knew like when he'd come up with something. It, what he first the first thing he'd come up with would just be would be canonically BS in game, game and stuff like that, and which came more especially after the uh, PSAs that did on wolves. Um, Sam did not, uh, uh, like, they also, uh, Sam explains that he did not know what, uh, 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 know that FCG would, would actually mean faithful caregiver at the beginning. Sorry, um. I just like you the just names. wanted yeah. you just wanted the joke of it. I, it was just it was all for that pussy joke. <laughs> Le legitimate. It and it crushed. Pussy, yeah. Yeah. It I really want to see if I can pull that bottom one, but I don't want a consequence. <laughs> uh-huh. I just want to see if uh -huh. I can get it. You just have to approve it by Kyle. Kyle, can we have a, a free poll with no consequences? <laughs> see? Shouldn't have made fun of him, right? Boy, we're in a quandary now. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> 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 Quit tempting, Kyle. If I this is very strong, this is I know. Though, because if you pull the, if you get, it's the last, it's the end of the episode. So if you get the consequence, then is, there's nothing. Then there's I, nothing. I just have to have a consequence for a it. split second. Oh, yeah. You'd have to have it for a split second. But it'd be funny if it carried over to the next episode, Kyle. We'll see. Go. Okay. Okay. I just. Okay. Really one, are you going for the very bottom? Yeah. One? Yeah. 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 Oh I just want to see if it can happen. Cause that no one, way. the one. There's no way. It's it's toy. <gasps> now I'll see you. Bitch. Whoa! Whoa! Fire! Whoa! You're going for the middle. La, 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 la. Oh my God! Woo! Wow, that's some steady. Well, wait. What was the number? It was three. The number was three. Oh, Might as oh. well do it. Speed Might round. as well do it. Um. Okay. Uh, from Gallant Gatsby. As someone that wrote 18 pages for their last character, how deep in the depth do you go when it comes to a backstory? What's the longest you spent writing it, and how satisfying was it to finally see it unfold in play? And this is specifically for Grog Leather Boots Strong Jaw. Yay! <laughs> Love that. No, I added that because you just said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, Laura, her longest backstory was uh, was just her, uh, and quite frankly, like most of it was felt like more of a backstory for her, for Marion, like uh, just her's mother. But Matt changed a lot of it because there uh, for for it. Um, something I didn't know was that she always intended that. that um, and for Artigan to be be the traveler, because originally she was going to play a warlock, but then found out that travels well, so she made it a cleric and just had used a traveler instead. And but she but her patron was originally have been Artigan, so she knew all along she who she was who Jester was working for. Marisha rolled a lot for her character for. For Bo's backstory, like what happened? Not's backstory was pretty complicated, and I kept rewriting it as we went. And then Freya's was leaked online, so I had to rewrite that. Yeah, bit. was I it? I'll look up on that. No. Okay. Just oh yeah, you guys didn't hear about this. Just part of it. It's like, not cool, by the way. <laughs> it's four pages, and page three of it got leaked. How? He, he because was, it was at the live show, and he was holding up his oh. backstory, and there was like half a page. Somebody zoomed in on it and leaked it. Oh, bummer! It's fine. I changed it. <laughs> no longer applicable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Grog was a couple paragraphs after. Paragraphs. Um. But, but oh, oh, there that summed it up. And Ford made uh, was just made while well, 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 coming back from Australia. From what was there? Ron, he said, Chetney, who's originally supposed to be a temporary joke character, had like the longest thing a backstory he's ever created. It, well, fun thing, he's the oldest character. Uh, or it, it, they've they've had as a player. There and what I love. F things for Matt to insert, no matter how long it lasted. Like he never expected Chetney to last as long. One thing they always they like to do is like add dialogue, or, like specific dialogues that their character has said or something, or said to there is that. There um. Also, when when Laura was writing Vex, so she. Did write how she came across Trinket. There's a, uh, and here they announced that, that sadly there would be no more side dive this, uh, for this episode, as they have something else instead, which was alluded to before. Wait, but speaking of next episode, we have something very important to do. Oh, yeah. The next one is going to be our oh. four-sided dive uh, Halloween special. So we got, wait, but folks, we're fucking tired. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> folks, we're fucking tired. <laughs> that, Me take. That, that's just, <laughs> that's that's just like, right. <laughs> so uh, next month we'll be having the chillest, most laziest, Halloween extra snooza that you have ever seen. So we're gonna pull some lazy Halloween costume ideas for whoever is on the next episode. If you've missed it, we done this last year. It's very fun, but uh, each of us are going to pull three oh. and pick one. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Oh, okay. So, I feel so like this just happened. Pull three. I know. One. one two, what? three. Hey. I know. It's been a freaking year. Oh. It's so crazy. Well, let's have one. <laughs> Wait, that's a big uh, one, too. <laughs> I just saw one, and I wish I would have oh, grabbed it. Oh, that's hard. Really. What? Oh, maybe like we'll grab it. it. <laughs> that's appropriate. <laughs> Can we read these out loud? Absolutely. That's the point. I pulled... Jokes aren't for you. They're for them. I pulled Discount Vampire, Entirely Normal, Not Really Super Mario, <laughs> <laughs> and Apple Watch. <laughs> That's right. I also Apple take Watch part is in this, pretty so. good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, Danny. Oh, I grabbed four. Someone who just came back from a semester in Spain. Oh, amazing. <laughs>
That's good. Matt's plaid pajama pants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just the yeah. pants. Oh, I accidentally picked four. Kyle's sleep paralysis demon. Oh, oh no, oh. that's a good one. <laughs> I picked a fourth one. Oh. Twitter. Oh, no. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Twitter or formula It's vintage. Noticed. I really want to yeah. do the... Um, the trend that's big in Japan where you just go as like a normal person going through something, oh, yes. you know, like. Yes. Oh, that's a good, what? that's kind of like this. Yeah, you've seen these where it's like a woman who is trying to catch the subway and she just spilled coffee on herself. <laughs> I yeah. kind of have one of these. to make it yeah. work. Yeah. God. It's a real, we should, so good. Well, maybe that should be our Halloween party this year, like just for fun. Who'd you yeah. get, what'd you draw? I drew, I've got two, well, got a few good ones. Chroma key bodysuit, mm. go nuts audience. <laughs> Sword guy. <laughs> I love it. And floor, oh. Florida man. It's just oh. that. Florida the man. Sword guy is Sword so good. Sword guy is pretty good. good. Guy is pretty good. <laughs> what about you, Danny? Oh, did you not read yours? <laughs> no, I haven't yet. Oh, okay. Um, yourself with the tiny face makeup challenge. <gasps> I don't know what that means. Oh, and I'm so very you scared. make the face just really you make good. it, and the mouth is right here. No, I don't <laughs> want to do that. No. Um, <laughs> the feeling of forgetting why you entered a room in the first place, which I think is great. <laughs> Yourself, Everybody. but bloody for some reason, which is just me on my period. Oh, <laughs> so I don't know what that <laughs> would be such a graphic. Um, I have one of the Among Us costumes we have lying in the back from that one sponsorship read, but you're not allowed to inflate it okay. <laughs> because electricity for the fans is expensive. Uh, that would suck. That would, that would actually so suck. Big. Oh, <laughs> Wait, who was it that got stuck? It was Max. It was Max. Yeah. Oh, Shapiro. 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 Oh, man. It was so good. So sad. <laughs> a B movie, not the Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> or her, Horse Girl. Oh, oh that's also fun. Man, so I guess we should, we got to announce it. Uh, what did I do? So now? Is Sword Guy? The one, sword that's the one that everyone's laughed heart, but it's at the most. I want to do one. I want to pull one. I'll do Sword Guy. They're so good. I was going to do Discount Vampire, but I'm going to pick Apple Watch. Wow. Apple Watch is yeah. great. I'm going to do yeah. someone who just got oh. back from a semester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a winner. Yeah. See. What is it? What are you? Someone who just got back from a semester in Spain. Yeah, bueno. yeah, yeah. yeah. I really like the idea of Barcelona. just going as Matt's pants, though. Matt's pajama pants. <laughs> like, yeah. just the pants. Just covered in five pairs of Matt's pajama yeah. pants. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Danny? Oh, uh, I'm going to do the feeling of forgetting why you entered a room in, a first, in the first place, yeah, just because that sounds really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Every day. That means I don't have to remember anything. Yeah. Apple Watch. Nice. What are you doing? I think I'm going to do a B movie. <laughs> Could be any B movie. Any B movie. Any B movie. Sure. Just a, a or B, a B, B, B movie. movie. Maybe The Wicker Man. <laughs> Technically a B movie. Oh, ah. yeah. oh Danny. That was yeah, yeah. yeah, it's definitely open for interpretation. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, any movie a B appears in. <laughs> tune in next month for Richard a special King. Halloween snoozaganza. Whoa. I want to thank our guests, Laura Bailey, hey. Travis Willingham, Sam Regal, and of course, our lovely lore keeper, Danny Carr. Whoa. I'm Marisha Ray, Whoa. AKA Raygun, oh. your 27th Tavern yes. Keeper. Uh, and I guess this is the outro. So let's just leave this world behind Everybody come on, take a dive One by one we roll the dice, come on For another round, your friends are here to cheer you on Things are flying off. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, to end this episode, my recap of my of one of my re uh, uh, home rules. This time, it's the Magic Island, the Longsword, Baffling Destiny. The, it, re it requires a tournament from any of the martial fight, uh, uh, any martial uh, uh, the primary martial classes or, or a ranger. No. Uh, this seems like it could be a good thing for a um, paladin, so of course I had to leave out. Uh, one thing, uh, the, the primary, one of the primary functions is a uh, is to cast a spell, which they already get. So, uh, when you when you find this magic weapon, it has one d six charges. Heard, but it can hold a maximum of six charges. Um, for every two charges, this so it has it ha it has the it gains a plus one property. So with all six charges, it's a plus three sword. Uh, long sword. You can spend one charge to cast a spell. Death Ward. However, you can cast it the spell as reaction for taking uh, damage greater than or equal to 19% of your max HP rounded down for balancing reasons. And this cost has two charge. Why 19% will be explained later. I'll go into why I chose what inspired this weapon. When um when uh cat uh, uh when ca cast's reaction this spell uh, is considered cast before the damage is taken and so if you're if you don't have the benefits of a uh, 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 of death war on already and it's you take a lot of Damage you, you cast it, it will save you from going going down. When you uh, when you uh, uh, take damage, you roll. Uh, you do also roll a percentage dice. If the result, uh, if the resulting damage is a, a pres. Uh, Basically, if the you, if the amount of damage, if you if the amount of damage you taken is like a high, higher, I think I may have a mistype here. Um, uh, if it, if the damage you taken is, is a percentage of of the uh, uh your percentage of max health take uh, compared to your max health um. If you roll like a percentage, uh, no, I is there basically if you roll basically whatever you ro roll for the uh, th uh, damage stuff, if you if 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 it's higher than the percentage you lost from uh, your max stuff lost from the damage taken, if you can regain a charge, you also regain a charge. If you land a critical hit with this weapon, and you regain all charges, uh, uh, you regain all spent charges after you take a long rest while attuned and are wielding this weapon. Like, if you look, like do not attune and you take a long rest, it does not work. If you are attuned to it, but you, you've stowed it away and stuff, it will not recharge. Uh, proficiency with a long sword. Well, yeah, general professor, and also this new thing, which I think is basically on the new D and D format, like, uh, uh, is that like all types of weapons have like a certain thing that they can do if you have mastery of the weapon. Mm, this is part of the new like features for like, uh, what's it, the D and D one or a uh, D and D two thousand twenty four, whatever they call it. 
What what did you have You Sap, if you hit a creature with this weapon, that creature has disadvantage on its next attack roll before you start your next turn. Um, the inspiration for this is like I saw like different um, like different themes for different like campaigns like Run and Suffer. Uh, and I thought one thing I did like, like basically trying to recreate your one of your like favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh monsters as a D and D character. My cat, mine is, favorite monster is something called Celtic Guardian, or as the Japanese would call it, um, Elf Elf Swordsman. And uh, it has an upgraded version called uh, of Nautica's Garden, or in Japanese. Baffling Elf Swordsman, which is what hence the na name. I originally did call it obnoxious that thing, which is funny but stuff, but I like just like baffling more. And it cannot this monster cannot be destroyed in battle by a monster that has nineteen hundred attack nine hundred or more attack, hence the percentage being nineteen percent. And and it's the reason why it's called Destiny is because like there's like two upgraded versions of uh, of of Celtic Guardian, of not just Celtic Guardian, and Celtic Guardian of Noble Arms, which is connected to another Yu-Gi-Oh archetype. And I basically read, which has like these monsters and also Noble Arms like equip cards, and I recreated three of them. This also helps recreate the Noble Arms of Destiny, which can only be uh, to equip to war types, just like the. This, uh, uh, the only one who naturally casts a spell is the ranger, and that's because it's ranger's one of my favorites. Once per turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle, which you know ends up with also effects like the, the, that you can also cast at will. Oh, so, uh, at will. Oh, well, uh, you could get uh, at will or uh, death ward. Too. There are actually, uh, I also like, there's like several like noble arms cards. I picked two that I did recreate, use that to read that one, plus two more base, which were based on the Ex uh, Excalibur to uh, make, and you'll see those in later videos. I thank you for, now I thank you for joining me. This is Free Man Reimagine, and I wish you good fortune in the quests of life.